All right, hello guys. Back, we're playing some more Final Fantasy 16. I just got back from an anime convention. Now we're here. Uh, actually, I've not played this for almost a whole week. I think I don't remember when I last played. Um, okay, we're getting really close to the end. This journey. I don't know how I really feel actually, because like. I see that there's still places we haven't been, and we're definitely pretty much done with the story in this region. Um, this is the Dalmechian region, I believe. Dalmechia. Um, but the next region, or at least Mother Crystal, we have to destroy is this one, Barnabas's Crystal. Um, I do see there's an island way down right. Down there. I can't even bring my curse over there. Um, yeah, right now we're just going around different regions trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, I remember last time I wanted to do one of the hunts. There's a mark available, but it doesn't tell us where. It's unfortunate. Um, I actually forgot where like the name of the place. Uh, I think we want to go here, maybe? Check and see. Um, this one's blocked off. Wait, is it Vamer? Wasn't it Vamer? Uh, I guess we can just teleport back to... Um, Idaway. Let's see again where this hunt is. For some reason I do remember the mayor. New missile has been discovered to or delivered to Clive's chambers and dismissed. Is that like things they put on the wall? I like trophies almost. Did you see that? Tell me you saw This one. Vomer, yeah, 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 yeah. I haven't gone here yet, quite sans Rosaria. Uh, again, these two, I haven't really decided to really tackle them yet. So I'll probably skip these two, maybe wait till after we defeat Barnabas. Uh, but I can definitely do these two. Um, Vomer. So I saw Vomer on the map, so I can definitely go there now. Quite sans Rosaria. Let's see where that is. White Sands, Rosaria. Rosaria's up here. Oh, there's two hunts. Oh yeah, one of them is... I believe it's in this region up here. Um, yeah. Uh, let me see. White Sands. Some waters. You don't know where White Sands are. Is, are, is. White Sands. Oh, in there, in there. Okay, so at least we know where that is. So, let's go ahead and go to Vamer. Which is right there. So let us teleport to the closest place. I guess down here. Uh, Togobo, please. Uh, but ever since the last crystal we destroyed, Ultima kind of made the world go dark. <laughs> I can see. Uh, so yeah, we're just slowly helping everybody out, see what's up. And I'm assuming after we've helped everybody, at least the three regions, Some next big thing will happen. Look at that big boy. I don't really care to fight it, actually. Let's just go. We're like, what, five levels ahead of everybody in this area? I'm not dealing with them. 
But it's not like we get that much experience from each encounter, so let's just move on here. Enough of you, are there? I wish I had to hold the trigger to run. Alright, about to enter. I think I see the guy in there. Just gonna chill in there, waiting for us to come in to smite him. Yep. Let's Back to the stables, girl. And I don't know what to expect. Oops. But here we go. Remember how to fight. Here you go. Another god's forsaken soul, oh, eh? Only those who have nothing on them here. Throw them to your pockets. Whoa. Oh. I'll pay attention to this. Mother's on the end!
very, very dangerous. But, too bad. Ooh. I deserve to tell that law. What do we want? Okay, uh, let's. Don't go to. Oh, there's a shop. That's kind of far, though. Go to the next area. Go here. See what's up with them. This man's gonna die if we don't get into it. Oh, one thing, uh, we can Anything easily... catch your eye? Dime. Uh, oh, bye. Thanks Thank very much. Thanks very much. Much obliged. I keep forgetting that I do have like elixirs and stuff, but I just don't really well. use them. Boy. My brothers. My brothers. Hey, what's going on over here? Martha. It's good to see you. And you, Clive. Jill? Otto said you've been attacked by a Kashik. What exactly happened here? Those skies are what happened. Not long after they fell dark. We had our first visit. There were hundreds of them. Tried to storm the hill. Only a handful made it up here, but that was more than enough. The rest are still down there now. And while we have a few willing fighters holding them back, they're sorely outnumbered. What do you think, Clive? That we join the fight? I thought you'd never offer. Now, where I need you is the Fallen Gate. That's where the fighting is fiercest. Let the men know you've come to help. Someone tells me they'll be pleased to see you. We're on our way. Okay. Do you think there are as many as Martha says? <laughs> More. More. Uh, I guess we can cross the bridge, right? I don't think they've abandoned us, do you? Wait, can I go this way? Yeah, I can. I thought it was like blocked off by these barricades. So many. We deal Akashic. with the Akashic first. Uh, one question is, yeah, I'll probably use ignition right away for that. These men don't have the look of hired swords. If you've come to rob this place... Look again. You are mistaken, my Lord Rosfield. Oh. We're here by Madame Martha's leave. How do you know my name? Forgive me, my Lord. There wasn't time for introductions. 
We're oh. with the Guardians of the Flame. Wadesmen? Yeah, that's insane. But how did you come to be here? Where is your commander? Where's so Wade, Wade left earlier with a scouting party to find out where the Akashic were coming from. Did he? Take your wounded back to the inn. Martha will see you're looked after. We'll join you in on. And to think you took them for thieves. But. A fine reward for holding off the horde, that is. When did Wade and his men arrive? Didn't know. Not long after Rosalith fell. The Guardians asked me to shelter some of them that had lost their homes. They were making ready to leave just as the skies turned, and we agreed it was best we stuck together. Mother! Trouble! Mother. The scouting party's almost at the lift, but they got a pack of Akashic snapping at their heels! And they got wounded with them! They're not gonna make it! Damn it all! We're coming. We'll worry about them, Martha. You look after everyone here. If any can still fight, send them to the lift. I will. You two be safe now. Oh, yes. Mm, yeah, ever since the uh, clouds started appearing in the realms, uh, dogs. everything turned Akashic. Which pretty much means they got infused with too much aether. Now they're technically stronger than their normal selves. Well, they are stronger. I mean, technically, yes, they are. Squire, I need you to get those who can still walk up the lift to Martha's. Wade. But what about? I didn't ask, Oscar. Sir. So Wade, Lord Rossfield, if you aren't a sight for sore eyes, Martha seemed to think you might need some help. And by the looks of it, we thought we could sneak by them, but we didn't know there would be so many. How could we have? Behind you! Oh, oh, Tortoise! Out of my toys. We need to get the injured to safety. Do you think we can hold them off? Oh, hell we yeah. We can certainly try. <laughs> For sure. Are you with us, Sir Wade? Oh, yeah. Always. Then let's do our duty. Oh, what? Well. Get over here, crab. Pile zero. I didn't get punched though. Ah, frick. I can see. I keep dodging way too early. Dang it. <laughs> I keep dodging way too early. Yeah, 
the list. Couch, 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 couch. Oh yeah. Dead. Not dead. Dead. Fun, fun. Is anyone hurt? I don't think so. And yet again, you've pulled me from the <laughs> flames. It's just a pity I keep walking into them. <laughs> You've never been one to shy away from danger, Sir Wade. Like any shield worthy of the name. I see you're all in one piece. Martha! <laughs> Is something wrong? The lookout saw smoke coming from down Eastpool Way. Too thick to be a hearth. A second horde. Feel like finishing the job? Always. Jill well, and I will make for Eastpool. You'll need to move the engine without us. Don't you worry about them. The moment my men are safe, I'll follow. Good luck. Where to this time? North. Goblins and bats. They're headed for the rest. We have to slow them down. Not for any other person ready. Farewell. Oh. Oh, what? Why check over here? These things. Floating eyes. Apologies, my lord. Did I miss anything? Only the first round, Sir Wade. <laughs> Second Shall round. Got a achievement for just dodging to charge up my mega flare. 
We got three dodges for that. Achievement. Do you see any more? No. I think that was the last of them. But it won't be long before the next lot arrive. Then we make for Martha's while we can. What did you find out there? The same as Sir Wade. Scores of Akashic. Well, wherever they came from, they're gone now. Our lookouts say the lowlands are clear. Hopefully we'll have enough time to lick our wounds. How many of your men were injured? A damn sight less than if you hadn't turned up. Thank you. It was a hard-fought victory. But as long as the skies remain dark, I fear the Akashic's numbers are only going to rise. It's not a matter of if the Horde will be back, but when. And whether that's sooner or later, we'll need to be ready. The inn here affords a good view of the land, and is easily defendable. I'd like to make this one of our outposts. What do you say, Martha? You'd have more men to guard the rest. Well, when you put it like that, of course they can stay. <laughs> Still rich as heck. Ooh, guardian scarf. What's this? A symbol of trust, loyalty, and undying friendship. For as long as the flame birds or firebirds flame burns in our hearts, the duchy cannot die. Oh. Uh, something that will be displayed in our room. My lord. There's someone I'd like you to meet. Oh. Oscar, Oscar, over here. Oscar. Who are you? Oh. It is an honor to make your acquaintance, Lord Rossfield. I am Oscar. Oscar of House Murdoch. Murdoch? I wasn't aware the Lord Commander had children. Oh, he didn't. But his brother, my father, did. I am Sir Rodney's nephew. <clears throat> well, go on then. It's not for me to ask him. Yes, Sir Wade. If it please you, my Lord Marquis, might you take me as your squire? I oh. would learn the duties of a shield from the finest. <sighs> I'm sorry to disappoint you, Oscar. But I'm S.H.I.E.L.D. no longer, nor was I ever the finest. And spending time in the company of an outlaw hardly seems a fitting education for one uh, aspiring to take his oaths. My Aunt Hannah once told me that a man is not defined by his title, but what he does in its name. You have accomplished much since taking on the mantle of Sid, winning no little honor in so doing. And I would sooner serve under an honorable outlaw than an unworthy sheep. N n not that so Wade and the other guardians are. I mean to say that uh, the. It's all right. We know what you mean. <laughs> there is only so much the boy can learn from me, my lord. But a squire. Would that really be so bad? With You're a squire companion. once. And I'm certain Sir Rodney would approve. Oh yeah, poor guy. Yeah, burned alive. <sighs> know that I'll show you as much leniency as your uncle showed me. I would not have it any other way. <laughs> yeah. What does that really mean? I will not let you down, Lord Rossfield. You or my uncle. Will you like follow us? Yeah. Anyways, let's go on to the uh, third region. Being overwhelmed by these Akashic things. First, we find Isabel. I saw it with my own eyes. My own eyes. I can't 
into it. Isabel, what's uh going on here? Hello? Oh wait, that's not you. The Lord! The lady! We received the dame's message. There have been sightings of strange creatures, I understand. With the blue eyes. Yes. Like a Kashik, but oh. different. If they've taken so many. I've lost count. Akashic, but different. <sighs> Ultimus Thralls. Oh, I think I know. And what of your mistress? Is she here? Oh, no. She went to the garrison to ask what they were planning on doing about all this. Then we'll look for her there. Let's go. We could leave. The two soldiers were carrying. <laughs> so many. Jared and Madame, such. Please. Half the garrison's been slaughtered by those things. We lost the captain this very morning. We've tried requesting reinforcements, but there's been no word from the capital or the Dominion in days. Dines. What more would you have us do? I would have you do your duty. Those at the Vale look to me for protection. And protect them I shall. Because they are my charges and that is my duty. In case you have forgotten, the people of this town are your charges. But more than that, they are your people. Your sisters, your brothers, your lovers. So you have a choice. Lay down your sword and watch as they are slaughtered. Or take it up and do what is right. Kick some ass. She speaks the truth, you know. This here. It's all we have. It's all that's left. What we have left is our lives. Do you really want us to lose them as well? Not if we don't have to. Look, there's a cask under the captain's bunk. Let's talk about this over a drink, eh? I'm listening. I'll have a word with him. I didn't expect help to arrive so quickly, and sought to take matters into my own hands. It was a noble effort, but I thought you might still need some support. I'd like you to consider my needs. Ah. <laughs> um, what we need yeah, to consider like, uh, is where the creatures <laughs> get off came my from. Mains. The way the survivors speak of them, one would think they appeared out of thin air. <laughs> and perhaps they did. It's hard to know what to believe these days. Hmm. We'll talk to the survivors. Right. Turned all the way around. <laughs> oh, he's banged You're up. Bagman, yes. What happened? I've got family and more. I heard the flood was spreading, so I went to see if they were all right. And a pack of them glowing. Things found me in the meadow. I ran for my life. And never did get to the village. Leave that to us. That's other guy. My family. We do to deserve this. Did you see the creatures that attacked you? Creatures? Creatures? Uh, yeah, I. They came out of nowhere. They went for Joseph first, then me, and then... Then they were just... gone. Do you remember where you were? On the road from Oriflam. We just passed more when... When... Where's my Joseph? Where's my Joseph? It's all right. Just rest now. At least we have an idea of where the thralls might be now. We should head for more. Way. Wait, can I just teleport there? I cannot just teleport there. You have a plan. How do I leave? Oh, okay. Get back here. It was all they could do to escape. 
Uh, I should try to fight random things just to build up my limit break. Dragon over there. Kind of hoping for something else closer. Aether everywhere. Almost always more. But I'd say we've done what we can for the time being. Then we should let Isabel know. That was a pretty short one. You have the town's thanks. Don't thank us yet. No, oh, is there more? There will be more. Many more. And you'll need to be ready for them. Oh, we shall. Isn't that right, Captain? Yes, my lady. The garrison will be ready. Lionhearted. Philippe here has convinced most of the men to remain at their posts. For now, at least. <laughs> Hearing that the dame would look kindly on any man who committed himself to the task, so <laughs> Of course. Not the most selfless of motives, I'll admit. Whatever it takes, eh? Now me, I never needed to convince him. I became a soldier oh. to protect the people I love. And the people I love include oh. the ones standing before me. 
Handsome and chivalrous. Now, if you don't mind, I have sentries to post. Milady. Lest you wonder, I'm not foolish enough to believe that this has solved all of my problems. But it has solved one, and that's one fewer than I had this morning. Thank you again, Clive. Okay, so that was a quick quest. I don't know what's next. Probably had to go back to the hideout. Our friends seem to have things under control. For now, at least. Let's go and put off. Back to the hideout. Clive. We go. Oh, just a bunch of. That's a lot of ability points I don't really need. All yours. These men are gone, and with them, the fear in our hearts. Once more shall the markets echo with mirth and merriment. It is you who we have to thank. Just reward. Talisman. A priming. Hmm. What that does? What if that, uh. Increases our limit to break regeneration or something like that. Yeah, we definitely have a long way to go though. Amber. Best of luck out there, Sid. Thanks. Was wondering when you turn up. Hellows from all our friends thanking you for your timely intervention. How is it you always manage to arrive at just the right moment? <laughs> luck, I suppose. And waypoints. Any word on the rest of the realm? Hmm, let's see. Storm's still crying out for Mother Crystals. The nations are still in chaos. And the skies are still the color of a kick in the kidneys two days kick on. Kidneys. So... Right. Clive, we knew this was going to happen. Mm. Well, not the bleeding skies, part, But you take my point. Now's not the time to second guess yourself. Now's the time to visit the infirmary. Taya says your brother's awake. Right. Thank you, Otto. Oh, Joshua. Like, when it... What? <laughs> yeah, I forgot that we did save Joshua. So it was not Sylvester, but Olivier who served as Ultima's puppet. Mm. And when Dion learned of this, he sought to slay the fiend. Daddy got in the way. Only for his father to take the spear that would have freed him. Wait, so Dion's dead? Enough to drive a man Is he still alive? Madness. Small wonder he hasn't stirred. Yeah, he's still alive. I would be afraid to wake. Had I but reached out to him sooner, warned him of the threat Ultima posed. But now, both an empire and her prince lie broken. Joshua. What do you know of Ultima? Very little, I'm afraid. Despite my best efforts. Eighteen years ago, as I lay buried beneath the rubble of Phoenix Gate, it was not death who came for me, but another. And it was while in my rescuer's care. I first heard of Ultima. Was that the one girl? Chasing his shadow ever since. Ultima is driven by some deep, dark purpose, and for whatever reason, it would seem you are crucial to his designs. He will stop at nothing to have you, even if that means toppling an empire. Toppling the whole world. <laughs> Why me? What possible use could I be to such a creature? The ability to drain that is one powers. of many answers that have eluded me yet i am certain of this it is not mere chance you were chosen for a reason 
All dominants carry within them the might of an icon. Nigh limitless power that is at once acutely limited. I wield fire, and only fire. And I only ice. Eight wardens for eight elements. But you, you, Clive. You are different. You can steal that. You're special. Your abilities begin with the flames of Ifrit, but they do not end there. The fact Ifrit can even exist goes against everything we thought we knew of dominance. Perhaps Ultima has been waiting for one such as you, whose potential is truly limitless. Limitless. I've encountered that thing several times now. If it or he, as you say, needs me, why hasn't he claimed me as he did the boy? Were I to hazard a guess, I'd say the two of you are somehow incompatible. His mind not properly attuned to your body. His mind? Mind, awareness, spirit, call it what you wish. But I believe Ultima to be an embodiment of the concept. This is why I struggle and fail to contain him here inside me. I'm sorry. Inside you. Show me your chest. With every setting sun, I feel my strength wane. And though the Phoenix's flames mend the prison I have made for Ultima, they do so at a cost. We must find a means to bring an end to him before I meet my own. What were you thinking? It was that or let him take Clive. And I've always had a soft spot <laughs> for my brother. But that doesn't mean you should sacrifice yourself to save me. Is it too late for all that? <laughs> yeah. Joshua. <coughs> Clive, it's Gav. Oh. <coughs> There's an army of Akashic at the gates of Caliber. <coughs> Ready for the next battle. Well, what's the short of it? Myrtle, Tyre told you. The capital of the free cities is under siege by an army of monstrosities. The city guard are doing their best to stem the tide, but numbers ain't on their side. What of Lord Byron and Mid? Were they able to escape? No. Well, they're all right for now. They're hiding with Gav at midship. Yeah. You have to get them out of there. Mm. Don't we shall. We are proud that they uh, sent Gav to kind Tell of Gav to stay exactly where he look is. Look after Understood. Mid. Vivian, what's the swiftest uh, route to the Free Cities? Perhaps. That Perhaps. sounds Perhaps. like a question for the map. Look here. This route through Tabor should provide the least trouble. Good. What a coincidence. Tabor is exactly where I'm bound. <laughs> Joshua, bed is where <laughs> you should bed. be bound. Stay in bed, bruh. What happened to the other girl? You don't like, think I told him the exact same thing? Him. Were Taya not such a talented I guess they did either, get separated, actually. I would surely have been inclined to agree. Well, Bahamut but, fight. Thanks to her ministrations, I feel I may safely rejoin my attendant. Who was to wait for me in Tabor okay. if we became separated? Why? All right, we travel together. Clive. If he stays close to me, he'll be fine. Thank you, brother. I'll look after him. That's kind of sad, though. Like again, they've been separated for like 18 years, and for a lot of them, he thought, "Oh, Cyprus." Yeah, he thought he had killed his brother. We got some new hunts. Let's see what we got. They're easy to get to. Oh, it's only one new thing? Oh, two new things. It's only C rank. Oh yeah, I didn't do this one. Like with brothers, quiet sands, south of Tabor. Oh, that's kind of where we're going. Uh, might not remember these. 
Okay, let's do the side quests. A lot of side quests, actually. Situation, yeah. Blade, you can bloody well get me out what? of it. I need a hand with a recipe. What are we doing? Are you sure it's me you're looking for? <laughs> I'm not much of a cook. I'm all the cook will be needing. Thank you very much. <laughs> what I want from you is a little of your time, right? Oh, and uh, perhaps your sword. What you remember, Ivan Stew, right? Yeah, well, despite Disgusting. the look of the thing and that awful stench, people wolf it down. So I thought I'd try making one of these supposed masterpieces myself. Had a peek at the book and gave it a go, but, well... It wasn't as straightforward as you'd hoped. Ivan had the same problem. Yeah, but this is my blooming kitchen, and I will not be outdone. So if you don't want to be seen as paying favourites, I suggest you lend me a hand. Okay. I've never been one to play favourites, Molly. And I would be only too happy to lend you a hand. So, what's on the menu this time? A fried mortress of skyworm. That's one what? heck of a name, innit? What? Recipe what? seemed what? easy enough to an old hand like myself. Thought I'd followed it to a T. Only, turns out skyworm livers and drake's mint are not what I thought they were. At least I hope they're not, given the rancid mess they made. Ivan said the recipes in the culinary pilgrimage date back centuries. Who's to say the ingredients even exist anymore? Well, that's a question for a scholar, wouldn't you say? Perhaps you know of one? Kindly old fella who wants the yep. shelves, maybe? <laughs> Fine. Hippocrates. I'll go and speak to Harpocrates. Perhaps I'll know something. And if he does, I'll see if I can find your ingredients for you. Not okay. You do that. Lest we forget, you've got a reputation to uphold. Sounds good. Let's go this way. Is this Blackthorn? Okay, somebody else back there. I look like there's no new um, weapons or armors. Hey, it's Goots. Oh my god. Is everything alright, Goots? You seem more discomposed <laughs> than usual. Oh, I don't know what that means, but, but I'm in a bit of a muddle. Oh, I think Nan might be in trouble and she's. <laughs> it's alright. You can tell me. There was a trader came by. One of our usuals, like, said he'd heard some rotten rumours about her down Dallymill Way. Focus saying she's been selling a bandit and cutthroats and that. I mean, she's fond of a chance to make a coin or two, aye, but, but she'd never do business with baddies. Baddies. Especially not the kind who go hurting people who haven't done out. I wanted to ask her about it myself, but well, I'm scared she'll give us a tongue lashing. She'd never give your tongue a lashing, though, would she? Yeah. I'm not afraid of a lashing. Don't worry. I'll speak to her. Oh, thanks, Clive. You'll let me know what she says, won't you? Of course. I'm sure it's all just a misunderstanding. Talk to Aaron. Lady Karen. How's business? How's business? Not nearly as foul as the weather. You're doing good trade then? Both in and out of the hideaway? Hmm. Can't complain. Wait. Wait. What exactly are you getting at? Uh -oh. Not once in five long years do you pay my affairs half a care, but here you are today <laughs> raking me over the coals like a bloody popotto. Popotto. Just asking. Out of interest. That lashing. <sighs> All right. <sighs> I'm here because I was told that. Uh Certain rumours have been circulating. 
about you selling weapons to brigands. Oh, are you? And who was it who knows me so well as to tell tales of my evil exploits? I... I, I didn't exactly hear firsthand. All I know is that someone in Dalamil has been spreading word to that effect. And what? You believe it? You believe it. You think I'm profiting off the blood of innocence, do you? Look, I've done things I'm not proud of. Might be there were a time when I turned a blind eye to the wretchedness of the world so I could line my pocket. But that woman is no more. And you'd know that if you'd ever paid the slightest bit of notice. You're right, Lady Karen. I apologize. It was wrong of me to doubt you. No, it was. No. I reckon you've got better things to do than pointing your do-gooding finger at a poor old <laughs> woman. Of course. Do-gooding finger. Good day. Good day. Better yell that. I spoke with Lady Karen. What did she say? That the rumours were unfounded, and that I was a fool for thinking they might hold any truth, along with some other things that <laughs> made her feelings clear. And while it sounds like she may have done things she regretted in her past, she says those days are behind her. Ah, oh, well, that's good. I knew Nan wasn't caught up in how bad. Why would people say she was? What did she ever do to them? It's not right. No, it's not. But people do things for all sorts of reasons. It's none of our beeswax. Perhaps we'll never know. Well, I'm going to find oh, out. No good. That trader, he said they were all talking about her in Dalamil. Oh. So that's where I'm going. I'll find someone who'll tell me. You'll see. Are you sure that's wise? Whoever's spreading these rumors means Karen Hill. Oh, right. <laughs> well, that's why you'll be coming with me, isn't it, Clive? Uh, of course. I suppose it is. Let's start these. Who are you? There's a storm coming soon. Sid, perhaps you can help me solve a mystery. I can certainly try. Who's gone missing this time? It's not who, but what. Mid scales, the ones she made for her workshop. I borrowed them to teach the little ones about weight, and shortly after the lesson, well, they vanished. My first thought was that they'd taken them off somewhere to play, but when I asked, they swore they had nothing to do with their having disappeared. Which almost certainly means they had everything to do with it. Perhaps a visit from Sid will jog their memories. Yeah. <laughs> I think it just might. Thank you. I don't like to imagine that my pupils would lie to me. But if they have, I'll have no choice but to discipline them accordingly. They were in the atrium when I last saw them. As always. Yes. Uh, yeah, let's talk to Harpocrates. Norseman Harpocrates, I've come to pick your brain if you don't mind. It's about the book you lent Ivan. Ah, Valicia, a culinary pilgrimage, a classic. One of my favorites, in fact. The young man did a wonderful job with the Chancellor's stew. I do hope we shall be able to sample more such marvels in due course. That's actually why I'm here. I don't suppose you know where I might find Skyworm livers and Drake's Mint. Ah, so the fabled Sanbriquois delicacy is next on the menu. Delightful. Delightful. The descriptions of fried mortress never fail to make my mouth water. Now, Skyworm is a somewhat antiquated name for the Wyvern, their ground livers being the paste from which the mortress is made. Dragon livers. A very Sambraquois. One would have thought the disciples of Bahamut would have a touch more reverence for their icon's brethren, but apparently not. 
I believe the specific dragon the recipe demands is the blueback wyvern, said to be the very color of the sea beside which it resides. So we know where to look for our liver. But what about the drake's mint? Saint's bonnet, in contemporary parlance, a herb which grows along the North Reach coast. I gather that one can locate the cheerful yellow flowers by their heady scent alone, so I'm sure you'll have no trouble finding them. I may add that people once believed game was best served with the flora that sustained it in life, in which regard fried mortress of Skyworm is undoubtedly a typical dish of the time. Meaning that if I find one, I find the other. To Northreach, then. Best of luck, Clive. To Northreach. And do save me a bite once the <laughs> dish is complete. I want to try. All right. Is a stone coming? Speak to the children at the atrium. Oh. I'm right over here. Did you see the pair that got pulled into time? Oh, there's also quests in my book. Pull request. Humble request. Master Clive, I apologize for the sudden and untoward gesture. Circumstances have forced me to seek immediate aid, and there is none other to whom I may turn. Your most esteemed Lord Uncle has presented me with a task most vexing, and I fear I am wholly unable to perform to his vaulted expectations. Namely due to a marked lack of marital... Martial? Martial aptitude on my part. To wit, I am but a manservant, not a mercenary. While I maintain the fitness ample to attend to the needs of a manor, to the attending of bandits in back alleys, I am sorely equipped. If it were, er, if it please you, my lord, prithee come and see me at Martha's rest, where I shall proceed to explain my predicament in full. Sebastian Rutherford, since uh, seneschal to Lord Byron and Rossfield. Rutherford? Was not the name of my uncle's manservant? Manservant. Why would he be at Martha's rest? <laughs> but I've got manservant. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna do all these side quests and hunts. And then I'll probably call it a day. Yeah, I'm pretty tired because for the past couple days, again, I went to anime convention. Uh, MetroCon, and I haven't been sleeping the best. <laughs> I feel like that's just how we can events uh, usually end up being. There's possibly the staying out all day and not napping and then sleeping late, waking up early. Just repeat We're the cycle. Die. You hear me? Yeah, it's just. What do you reckon we should do? I gotta finish all this and. Turn in for the night. Sid! Sid. Out of your studies, I see. And what is that? What is this? It's not a set of scales, is it? No. Wait, of course it isn't. Arms. Well, not anymore, it's not. Uh-oh. <gasps> and just so long hasn't it been one? <laughs> We're sorry. No. Oh, but we didn't break them. We dis <laughs> dismembered them. Remember. Just like Miss Mididol showed us. Oh, what? Miss Mididol? Why would she have you dismembering her creations? Because that's the only way to become a ninja near. Ninja near. Miss Mididol said. <laughs> the best way I see how some it worked is to take it apart and put it back together again. Well, then your work is already half done. Carry on. Uh, <laughs> but they don't remember how to put it back together. That. The taking back apart together. was easy enough, but it's the putting back we can't work out. Speak for yourself. The heavy thing goes at the bottom. Then. 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 Um, and then. You three need to learn to take responsibility for your actions. So let's have a look at these parts with fresh eyes, shall we? Oh, do we actually have to fix it? Fix it ourselves. All right. Everything here was once part of Miss Mididol's scales. Every piece has its own role to play, 
and each is just as important as the others. If even one of them is missing, the scales won't work. So let's think about what those roles might be. You already know one of the pieces. The body. The body. Its role is to support everything else. But what of the others? Oh, they are. This is called the arm. Why do you suppose that is? It doesn't look much like an arm. You're right. It looks more like a wing. Uh. <gasps> like a chocobo wing! You've ridden a chocobo before, haven't you, Sid? Will you teach me to ride one one day? I'll think about it. Now, what do arms do? Hold things. So wait, maybe this arm holds things too? Good thinking. You're on the right track. These round parts are called the pans. You all know what a pan is, don't you? I do. Molly uses them in the kitchens to fry bangers. But these aren't for frying bangers, you idiot. They're for weighing stuff. But what if I wanted to weigh goots? I don't think you'd fit on that little thing. <laughs> goots? <laughs> Probably not. What are the chains for? Holding the pans up? Well spotted. Which means something must hold the chains up in turn. This tiny piece is what's called a cogwheel, or gear. Have you ever seen one before? I have. Miss Minadel's dungeon is full of them. Most are on the floor. She puts them in all her inventions. They spin round and round and round and round and... <laughs> That's right. They're very useful when you want to make things move. Do you remember if there was anything on the scales that moved? I remember the arm moved. When I tried weighing an apple, and then somebody <laughs> ate it. Not my fault. You should have tried weighing it for lunch. You know what part's supposed to move, and how it's supposed to move. So, let's put the pieces together first, see what doesn't move, and then stick the cogwheel to that. Not a bad idea. You see? It's not so difficult. So... Now that we've taken stock of the parts and learned what they do, what do you think? I think we've got it. Then here's what we'll do. You tell me what goes where, and I'll put the scales together. Well, obviously you need to start with the body. All the other pieces fit onto it, don't they? And the arms go on the body, just like real arms. Or wings, <laughs> if you're a chocobo. Bah. And then the arms hold the pants by the chains. Very good. Let's see if that works. Up cog. Ah, all finished. Nice. With the cog. Yes, we did it. Well, it's right there. Sid's help. <laughs> oh, I just put the pieces together. It was you three engineers who showed me how. What about the cog? That's right. We missed Middle's hairs. Her hairs. Yeah, hairs for the future. She's showing us her secrets now, so we can help out the hideaway when we're older. What do you think, Sid? Are we almost ready? With a little more help from Miss Mitterdoll and Miss Shirley, I'd say it won't be long at all. <laughs> you hear that? It won't be long. <laughs> Until then, though, do try to be honest with Miss Shirley. You don't think Sid forgot about it, do you? <laughs> Why not look at us? Uh. Shelves. It's just way out there. That's fine, we'll just take a stroll. Yeah, next, uh, a couple more side quests. Try to go for the hunt in the quiet sands. Did you see that? 
Yeah, well, wait, the another one, the other one was in um, a new place we we're gonna go to, so. as you thought. The children had the scales, or the parts of them at least. They dismantled them to see how they worked. Ah, oh, no, Mid will have my head. Thankfully she won't. This might even have been her idea, although I was the one who ended up teaching the lesson. I'm so sorry, Sid. I know how busy you are. I shall see that the children are properly punished. Okay. Please, there's no need. Mid seems to have taken the three of them under her wing. She's even calling them her heirs. Yes. She'd have them follow in her footsteps. And her father's. I see. Sid. Sid, do you know why Mid has been spending so much time at the hideaway of late? She told me it was because her studies have been interrupted by events in Canva. Is that not true? No, it isn't. The university offered her a commission. What? In exchange for full tuition, room, and board, they asked her to oversee the design of several new war engines. To anyone else, it would be an opportunity. But to Mid, who lost both her parents to war, it was a bitter pill. One she was none too keen to swallow. But that should come as no surprise. She's only ever cared about bringing people hope. The very last thing war can be said to do. Which explains her airs. Oh, heirs, not heirs. She's working to give them a better life. And so should I. What's the odd engineering lesson? Ah, oh, you've given them far more than that. And I'm sure they're very grateful. Okay. Yeah, fun little side quest. I'm still rich as hell. Wait, I don't think there's anything else in this area. Wise. So let's. Oh. 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 They're gonna make me go here first. Uh, let's go there first and then. Back into the side quests. One of our squires is gonna come with us. No? the point of all that? Oh, yeah, it's Joshua. Wait, yeah, what about that squire guy? Broken dagger. Yeah, I probably won't do that main side quest. Let me just... Oh. So I should have known that we were still in Dalmachia. The bandits, maybe. Bandits. You shouldn't be too hard to find goods. The gentleman of the town dies. Big boy. Could be I know something more. Clive, listen. I found someone who says he's heard the rumors about Nan. Have you? Go on. Tell him what you told me. All right. It's like I said. A wizened old crone by the name of Karen's been selling steel to whoever will pay her price, be they knight or knave. Says the more swords and spears she puts in people's hands, the more war they'll wage. And the more war being waged, the more call for swords and spears. And who will they all turn to to keep them in steel? Why, the good Reaper herself. <laughs> and you've seen this Reaper at work? Aye, it just so happens I have. You'll find her right here plying her trade most days. Here in Delamil. Where exactly? She has a stall here in the market, 
But if you're not the patient type, you can probably find her at her storehouse on the edge of town. But it'd be a bolder man than me that braved that particular nest of vipers. Feeling bold, traveler? I hope so, for your sake. Now, if that's all, I have places to be. Sorry to have kept you. You don't think Nan's the Reaper, dear? Well, unless she's discovered the secret of how to be in two places at once. Eh? Yeah. What do you mean? Lady Karen hasn't left the hideaway in weeks. So who has been running this store he spoke of? Good question. I'll go and have a look. And I'll visit this storehouse on the edge of town. All right, but be careful, Clive. You too, Goots. Okay. That one right there. Now how do I get there? Not this way. Teleport back. He was talking shit about our Karen. Time to brave the viper's nest. Hello. What clan people? What bandits? Just you, is it? Mm. <laughs> Thought I might have laid it on a bit thick. thick. It was a fairly unconvincing tale. <laughs> so, what now? That's up to you. Die a slow death, or a quick one. Or you Boys, he's all yours. But that sword is mine. Oh. <laughs> Blood everywhere. Oh, you've done it now. What you gonna do? Go on. Tell me what I've done. <laughs> when the Borgwin finds out you've killed his men, oh. he'll have your head. He only wanted that bull of a manservant, the dim one always clinging to Karen's skirts. You weren't even supposed to be here. Who the hell are you anyway? What were you going to do to him? The Borgwin wanted him to get to Karen. I was only supposed to point the lump in the right direction once he arrived in Dalamil. But then you turned up. Well, go on then. If you're going to end me, end me. End you're me. You're not worth the effort. Now be gone. End me. Before I change my mind. <laughs> Fucking coward! <laughs> I need to find Goots. Right now.
Get your filthy paws off me, you naughty painted lout! Stop calling me <laughs> names! Exactly. And stop spreading them horrible lies about Nan! <laughs> well, that will be easy enough. For they are not lies. Every last word is true. And she must pay for her crimes in blood! Blood! Goose, are you alright? He, he, he's gonna kill Nan! He said she had to pay in blood! After what she did, it is only right. She ruined my life and the lives of countless others! That loathsome harpy's very existence is a crime, Harp. and I will not allow it to continue. Goots, was it? I have no quarrel with you, only with your employer. I beat this guy up. Run along now. You need not pay for her sins. No. 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 I don't care what she did. I won't let you hurt Nan. Promise me you won't hurt her, or I'll, or I'll, or I'll kill you myself. Oh. Goot, no, no. Enough, all of you. Oh, Karen, what are you doing here? Karen, but how did you? <laughs> You're a sight less clever than you think you are, the pair of you. <laughs> did you think I wouldn't notice the two of you slinking off together? Well, the whole thing got me thinking, who in Dalamil might bear me a grudge? And a certain snivelling shit I ran afoul of in my fairy years came to mind. Though it was just Bogan, Bogan. back then, wasn't it? I thought the years might have taught you some sense. But I see you're the same pants-pissing craving you've always been. What was it we called you? Wet legs. <laughs> Wet legs. You. You bitch! <laughs> Everything that happened, it was all your uh -oh. fault! And now you'll finally pay for what you did to me! What you do? Oh, not today though. <laughs> she just like, what? Goose, you. Uh oh. You took the... If you want a piece oh. of Nan, you'll have to go through me! Fuck! Oh, she's passing you out. Galoot. Out of the way, I can handle this myself. So, wet legs. <laughs> you remember what you told me when we last met? An eye for an eye. Uh oh. Wise words, sir. Uh, wise words. Uh -oh. And now it's time to collect. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. <laughs> God damn. Damn. What'd she do to him? Took his eye. Killed him? Sorry to keep you waiting. What'd he do? <laughs> What'd she do to him? Is he... Dead? No. But I reckon he wishes he was. His balls off? What'd he do? What'd she it's do? an easy going through life, one eye shot of a pair. Oh, okay, she did take After it out. After all, I should know. Oh. You don't mean it. Yeah, she does have a oh, blind don't eye. don't tell me you didn't notice. Lost it to old wet legs back when we were working the same route. Said I'd stolen from his strong box. I'd done nothing of the sort, mind. But that didn't stop him taking his little <laughs> revenge. So I took some of my own. Sorry lost everything. His coin, his clients. I always knew he'd be back one day to claim his due. But he crossed a line dragging poor Goots into this. He didn't hurt you, did he? <laughs> no, Nan. Still got all my arms, see? Legs, too. <laughs> but... What if he comes back again? What if he does? Best we take the other eye, then we work <laughs> our way down. He'll Ooh. learn his lesson soon enough. Yeah. <laughs> but something tells me the wet legs has wet learned legs. it already. I'm calling wet legs, boy. Right. Let's get you back to the hideaway. You've attracted quite enough attention already. Ta ra, Clive! Right. <laughs> Ta ra, Clive. Remind me never to cross you, Karen. 
She's strong. I go back to. Okay. Uh, is there any more side quests here? There's one right there. Get those fast away though. Wait, that's a new side quest. I should probably get all the other side quests taken care of before. Do any new ones? Uh, I should also go to this Rosaria hunt. While I'm here, let's do it right now. I mean, hopefully, we can get all, all these side quests done and then uh, leave it for next time. Well, the main story. Just gonna go north and north. Let's pretty much just follow this way. And yeah, so pretty much everything did get stronger. So I kind of had a feeling it would. And so if I do need to level up, then they're all available for me to grind experience on them. Oh, it should be in here somewhere. Is that the three brothers? Oh, yeah. Right here. Hello, friends. Oh, yeah. Just three of the same guys. Dragon Brothers. So it's kind of like the club. A clubs, or whatever. <laughs> Why am I so bad at this? Ugh. So I said, yeah, it takes me all the way back to the previous obelisk. It's so far away. Mm, I guess we just write our check flow this time. Ready, go. Run like the wind. I messed up so many times on that. Didn't. I actually took one of my stone skin tonics. I did use one. They gave back my potions though, which is kind of interesting. Let's try this again. It's going good until I try to Bahamut everything. Thanks, girl.
I don't really need no it. more vengeance. No more vengeance. No more war. Yeah, this is the one side quest I got from the letters. Oh, where's the quest person? That is a quest person. Join Rutherford at Martha's Rest. Where's Rutherford? Have you heard the latest from Twinside? That the Empress is no more. Never trust her. Oh. Over here. Oh, my Lord Marcus, is it is you. Then you received my letter. I am Sebastian Rutherford, Sebastian. chief steward of your Lord Uncle's estate. Of course. We met once before. Yes, my lord. Thank you for coming. And what was so sensitive that you couldn't put it in writing? <laughs> A thousand apologies, my lord. I did not mean to offend. I merely... It's all right. <laughs> Continue. I am here at Martha's Rest, at the behest of your lord uncle. Tasked with learning what I am able of the realm's current state of affairs, and what I have learned is grim. The fall of the Mother Crystals has left Storm in a state of utter disarray. The subsequent darkening of the heavens has only made things worse. Akashic attacks, once unthinkable, are now commonplace. The gears of governance have ground to a halt, and without a steady hand on the tiller... Tiller. The realm threatens to drift into utter chaos. Your lord, uncle, however, believes there is a way to avoid this fate and is determined to see it set in motion. That sounds like quite the undertaking. It is. Hence my having enlisted the aid of several colleagues serving the Seven High Houses. Alas. 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 I have lost contact with two of those colleagues already. They are both able-bodied and trained in the sword, yet in these dark times even that may not prove sufficient to keep a man safe on the road. So you want me to find them? I'll need to know where they went. One I sent to investigate the Republic, 
The other, the old Imperial capital of Oriflam. That doesn't exactly narrow it down. I suppose I'll start in Dalamil and work my way east. Thank you, my lord. I shall pray for your success and safety. I forgot what's first call again. Down a little bit of that. Not worry about that right now. Do the other side quest over here. Oh, it's two thingies up there. I guess it is kind of nice that I kind of like jump back and forth between different side quests. Even then, though, I don't know. I guess I'm not that there were ghosts at the gate, not days fully engaged with all these side quests. It's kind of whatever. You needn't fret. I just want that extra experience. Have you? Go north. Keep going north. I think I ride my truck a to the west over there. In the meadows, then. It's the meadows. Yeah. Jump on the bow. A lot of enemies everywhere. Doing it. She said I should be able to find what I'm looking for somewhere nearby. I'm So many dead dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Lobo. It's a pretty good experience there. Uh. What yeah, am I looking for here? And some, and some bonnet. Oh, wow. On the coast. And there's the dragon I probably have to fight. This must be all wide and right. Let's get this over with. Oh, oh fuck. Experience. Got that raptor liver. Dragon tail. That's um, the wyvern's liver. Now I just need to find the herbs. herbs. Bright yellow with a heady scent. Oh, bright yellow. Oh. Not even over here. Yeah, I really hate how these drops in the world are very. <laughs> like black cluster. Some herbs. If there's enemies here guarding it. No. It's bonnet. Right. I think that's everything Molly needs to resume. Go back. Karen. Seems the hideaway's lost its app. So, did you have that word with Tomes then? I did, Thanks. and he was as helpful as ever. He told me exactly where to look, in fact. There you go. 
And what precisely will I be cooking up? Or is it better not to know? Better not to know. And, liver. Oh. and uh, a herb known as Saint's Bonnet. Ah, wyvern livers, was it? <laughs> yeah. Well, at least it weren't actual worms, I suppose. Now then, you stay right where you are. I've got some cooking to do. Let's hope these grand old chefs of yore knew what they were on about. Some time later. And here we have it. Fried Mortress of Skyworm. What? Ivan's offered to make sure it's fit for consumption. Well, I say offered. He as good as begged. <laughs> and rightly so. Is there any higher honor than partaking in a slice of culinary history? Pretty <laughs> 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 uh, much like last time. Dying on this concoction. So, not fit <laughs> for consumption then. What? What cherry is this? What cherry? The crackle of the crust gives way to an almost violent richness. <laughs> Yet it is the piquant kiss of the saint's bonnet that tames this savage dish. It is a tour de force. Tour de force? A force of nature, even. A maelstrom of flavor and sensation. <laughs> a graceful beast emerging from centuries of slumber. He really likes I think it. He likes it. <laughs> well, I can't quite tell with all that nonsense he's talking. But I reckon you might be right. It was decent then, I take it. Decent? It's remarkable. remarkable. And I defy any man to say a word to the contrary. Sid, might I suggest that you command a party of your finest men and women to procure a dozen blueback wyverns forthwith? Uh, I'll give it some thought. <laughs> Make him extinct. Just gonna make this food, whatever it is. Be all done. Except we're gonna level up from all these side quests. This. Here. Nothing like a dish of cold Nothing. vengeance to foul the gut. Uh, I'm sorry, Nan. I didn't mean to make things worse. I just thought I had to protect you. Like you've protected me. Aye. Well, someone had to. Your parents certainly didn't give a whip for your well-being. Reckon the both of us would be worse off if I'd not taken you on. You've always been me right eye, Goose. Oh. And I'd have you stay that way. So don't you dare go looking for trouble again. <laughs> well, I will. If you ever need help, I'll do it again hey, and again, up, and you can't stop me. Why, you, you big lump? Sorry. Fine. Play the hero if it makes you happy. Night tonight so far. Thanks, Nan. I won't let you down. There's nothing he wouldn't do for you. That's as maybe. But if he's ever to make his own way in life. He'll need to start looking out for himself as well. Till then, he'll need people to watch his back, just like you did in Dollar Mill. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. Mm. Of course. His family. Stop it. You make me one good eye, mister. <laughs> I don't go thinking that'll do you any favours. Oh. Fortune to do <laughs> cost you the same as it did yesterday. <laughs> um, yeah, we're just going around doing some side quests. Um, or end the oh, what's this? Oh, it'll be in my room. But yeah, we're just doing some side quests before the next main mission. Um, probably won't actually start the main mission. Just yeah, try to complete all these side quests before I head out. See something. What am I looking for? I don't think there's any new hunts. Oh, there's something right there. Oh, I wasn't expecting you back, sir. Get this next thing. 
Amber. Yours. It's Amber's so. one. Come again. I may have more for you. What? Clive. Anything catch your eye? It's probably that one side quest that I saw on the yeah. So I need to always something in there. That at some point. Um, do I care about looking at all the bit and misses on the walls? Pretty sure that's what they were talking about. Let's finish this thing. Or take on that last new uh, side quest, the bad blood side quest. It's not going to be easy finding one man in an entire republic. As if someone here has seen something. Mummy. The gentleman of the town guard. A random sword just chilling on the floor. It's going right that check boy. Come on. Faster. Faster. Someone's got himself in trouble. Uh oh. I don't see your master here. So you can start by giving us all the coppers in your purse. I already told you, <laughs> I have nothing. <laughs> and maybe we'll take that pretty outfit and the steel you're wearing. Uh, uh, please! <laughs> Or These men are trying to rob me! You can leave I'll alone. Deal with this. Thank you. I love how he's a manservant. You that one's master then. If you kindly pay the coin he owes us, we can pretend you didn't draw your blade on Republican soldiers. Or you can go back to your garrison and I won't report you to your captain. Oh, you're more than welcome to. <laughs> he hasn't had many visitors since we slit his throat. A what? I didn't realize I was about it. This. Oh, not to use ignition. <laughs> I didn't realize I was about it. So <laughs> Slain. They, they killed their captain, we kill them. We're very close to leveling up. Maybe we'll level up once this quest ends. I'd expect as much from Hugo's faithful, but these were men of the fist. Oh, what? Much has really changed weak, in the Republican army since they lost their rock. You've seen this kind of thing before then? Many times. I was sent here to observe the situation. You're one of Rutherford's men. He sent me to look for you. Well, then you have my thanks. I fancy I could defend myself against one, perhaps two, but a whole regiment. I arrived in Dunhamill several days ago, but when I called upon the captain of the local garrison to make inquiries, his men confiscated my effects and locked me in a cell. The captain is no more. And his men make the rules now. Fortunately, I was able to bribe my way free. Only to be stopped again by those soldiers you so kindly dispatched. What of the Fist Central Command? Surely they wouldn't allow such lawlessness amongst their ranks. I would imagine they are unaware of it. Most of the army has fallen back to the capital and hunkered down behind her walls. Those who weren't recalled now rule the fringes unchecked. Answering to no one but themselves. Then it's worse than we imagined. They've become you bandits return themselves. To Rosaria. It's not safe here. I'll find a caravan heading north. Uh, you won't mind if I borrow one of these soldiers' coin purses? <laughs> Make their lunch money. Not at all. Now, to find this second associate of Rutherford's. It's not quite over yet. If he was bound for Oriflam, I'll start at Northreach and see if I can pick up his trail. Let's 
Oh, where'd you darn far? Oh, that's right by the teleport point, which is nice. See, sad quests aren't so bad since there's a lot there's of. There's a lot of road between here and the capital. Rutherford's man could be anywhere. A lot of teleport points we've unlocked. It's nice that they pretty much have us unlock them during the main mission, so we really don't have to explore too much. the person we're looking for. So there's a lot of road, but there isn't that much road. I'm actually surprised we didn't run into him already. Very confused why I can't find him. Unless he's like up here somewhere. I am blind as heck. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't see what happened here. I'm just chilling there. If you're with the others, they've already relieved me of my belongings. I'm not. I'm looking for someone who was sent here by a man named Rutherford. And then you found him. I am Alastair Rockford, attendant to the Lady Ariane of House Wellesley. Of the seven high houses of Rosaria. It's been. A long time since last I saw my great aunt. Is she well? My Lord Marquis? Uh, yes. Yes, she is. The Lady Dowager has granted me leave to assist your Uncle Stuart. I was on my way back from the old capital when I saw some villagers being robbed on the road here. Bandits. Right here. They looked more like field hands, but it didn't matter in the end. I did what I could to help the victims, but all it earned me was a pommel to the temple. Which way did they go? South, the gate. toward the gate. All right. I'll take care of them. Found a nose I've met enough of their kind. You head back to Northreach. Visit the Vale. Tell them I sent you. Thank you. I shall. Founder be your shield. They just oh. couldn't resist, could they? Chilling right here. Did run away, friends. Now all y'all must die. Oh. <laughs> it's pointing at me. This one's off. Pretty boy.
Make for the town while you can. There may be more bandits nearby. You don't need to tell me twice. <laughs> Many thanks, traveler. This looks to be all of them. Oh. I thought I told you to make for the veil. And stand by as ill might befall the heir to the ducal throne. It's just Clive. And I'm fine. Which is more than can be said for you. <laughs> I will survive. Strange that the garrison wouldn't intervene in such a brazen attack so close to their gates. The garrison have their hands full inside the city. Some days they don't even send out patrols. There are few hands left to work the fields, and even fewer to transport the grain. The market stalls are nearly bare, and the price for what remains is exorbitant. It's not uncommon to see a fight exorbitant. break out over a crust of bread. When I said the ones who attacked me didn't have the look of bandits, mm -hmm. I meant it. They were probably just desperate. Yeah. Rockford, listen to me. If you are to continue your investigation, you first need to seek the attention of a healer. I... Of course. Yep. I shall return to Northreach right away. But allow me to thank you first. Had you not happened along, I... Don't thank me. Thank Rutherford. It was he who sent me. I suppose he'll be wondering where I've got to. I shall send a Bastolus as soon as I'm able. Good day. My uncle certainly has his work cut out for him. If it isn't already too late. We'll get to talk with the... I should go and tell Rutherford that his colleagues are still in one piece. His rest. <laughs> I see you're still here. The rest's location affords a constant flow of traders, and with it, a constant flow of information. Speaking of which, I received word from both my associates. They have resumed their investigations, thanks to you. I only yes. happen to be in the right place at the right time. They both seem to think the realm's prospects rather grim. I am afraid that Grim would be putting it lightly. Storm is in crisis, and if we are to free her, we must work quickly. And we must work together. Such is your Lord Uncle's wish. As it is mine. Hmm. Alright, cool. I kinda still want to do that last quest that's on the field. This. A residual light aether that, having failed to dissipate on the battlefield, has instead manifested into a solid form not unlike crystal, but an elemental purity that renders it far more potent, it not highly specialized in its applications. Reduces flare breath cooldown time by 2.7 seconds. I don't even use that move, so it's okay. Um new area uh, fire per se but I should probably leave it for next time and it's gonna start the next uh, major quest we do a side quest as we're moving along so yeah mm -hmm. save and get out of here so I appreciate everyone for stopping in hope everyone has a good night Catch you all next stream.